I would like to welcome Dr. Susan Alger to the segment on healthy eating while sheltering in place. Dr. Alger has devoted her entire career as a professor and researcher to helping people feel better through the curative power of food and improving food security in vulnerable populations, both in the US and abroad. Most recently, she worked with the University of California Cooperative Extension Service in the San Francisco Bay Area. Dr. Alger, thank you for joining me today. I'm delighted to be here. Life has really changed here in the US and in many places throughout the world with the COVID-19 virus. What advice do you have on developing good eating habits while we're sheltering in place at home? Okay, well, one of the most important things that people can do is stick with the schedule. So I know that some people are anxious and you quit eating sometimes when you're, you feel anxious and other people may feel depressed and lots of times you'll eat all the wrong things when you do that. And like me, you're probably working in your kitchen or you have easy access to your kitchen these days. So sticking with the schedule to eat regular meals is very important. And then also the issue of food safety. So make sure that you handle your food properly when you're in the kitchen. So let your leftovers cool off, put them in the refrigerator right away. Anything that's been around for three or four days or more, a little time that you toss it. And then things in the freezer can last about six months. And then the really, the most important thing in terms of the diet, the healthiest diet is the Mediterranean diet. So those are the foods from the Southern Italy and the South of France, our whole grains, our unprocessed foods, whole wheat pasta, um, avocados, nuts, lean protein. So you really wanna stick with those. And then also very importantly, uh, stay hydrated. So when you get up in the morning, lots of times we start with our coffee or whatever it is these days and have a couple glasses of water first. So that's very healthy as well. So, um, that's about it in, in a nutshell. <laughs> that sounds like very good advice, thank you. Are there foods that affect your mood? Uh, what types of foods might help us feel better while we're relatively isolated? Well, I think if you do tend to eat a lot of the high fat, high sugar things, which are tempting to stick with just one thing, and our blood sugar just goes up and down with that. So we get a lot of big mood swings. And that's really what you don't want to do it because that's out. And you really can fatigue and just not feeling well. So the key there really is balance and variety. So you really get small, uh, get nutrients from small in small amounts in many foods, and they're 40 nutrients. So you really need that variety, and that eating the balance um, is important too, so that you get a lot of the different types of foods. Are there foods that we should consider to strengthen our immune system? Yes, definitely. So you want to go high fiber and unprocessed foods. So those would include all of your fruits and your vegetables that we call rainbow, the rainbow of foods. So the purple ones, the red berries, um, the yellow and orange fruits and vegetables, carrots, mangoes, those kinds of, uh, contain a lot of the, the phytochemicals and essential vitamins. And then also your unsaturated fats, your healthy fats. So that would be your mega-3s that come from fish, or from vegetable oils such as flax and canola. And those are anti-inflammatory. And then pro-inflammatory would be your saturated fats, things that, such as a lot of red meat and cheese. Those would be things that you would want to avoid uh, if you're trying to boost your immune system. And then I, one last thing I'd like to mention are the supplements. Because I walked into the store a couple of days ago and there's a whole wall of supplements that are being promoted for prevention of coronavirus or COVID-19. And there's nothing that you can really take that will help. And with the, the vitamin C or zinc have been shown to be effective in decreasing the length of the common cold, but have nothing to do with the coronavirus. And in fact, the Food and Drug Administration and the Federal Trade are sending warning letters to some companies who are promoting things such as colloidal silver and elderberry, no evidence whatsoever that they're helpful. So I just want to warn people about that. That sounds like very good advice. Uh, and that's a good lead into the next question, which is, are there, um, what advice do you have for people who might be on a, uh, a food budget? Is there, are there food choices that you can recommend for them? Okay, for those on a budget, um, the, actually the Mediterranean diet is perfect because the basics are very, 
easy to find now in the store. And those are your unprocessed whole grains, such as whole wheat bread, brown rice. You can go with some of the root vegetables if you want, potatoes, yams. And then you want to add to that some of your fruits and your vegetables. They can be frozen or canned. So oftentimes frozen or the canned ones are less expensive. Frozen have just about as much nutrition. Uh, and they both, as I say, they're, they last long and they're very affordable. Um, other things is you can, um, uh, yogurt is a good suggestion. So those are the kind of things you want to just keep on hand all the time. Hummus, nuts, peanut butter is a great choice without the sugar, just nuts and salt, etc. cetera. Um, avocado toast makes a nice snack if you want to do that as well. Do you have any advice for vegetarians or vegans who may have previously shopped more often during the week and or relied on farmer's markets? Okay, well, the farmer's markets are interesting. So I think they were first deemed non-essential where I am here in Southern California. Now they're essential. But they, if you can't go any longer, um, you can move to a CSA box where the farmer may deliver fruits and vegetables to you. But I think there are also lots of options if you want to go the frozen food section, and I've got a couple of, of them here, if you want to take a look at them. Um, and one is, this along goes along with our comfort foods. So I'm just going to hold that up so you can see it. That's a macaroni and cheese. So that's something that you could frozen. Uh, here's also another sort of comfort vegetarian food, which is the, are the nuggets or chicken nuggets made from, um, Oftentimes these are made from pea or from peas protein or from bean protein. So you can also go with vegetarian patties, any kind of vegetable patties. So I know there's a great one that I use that's a black bean patty. And then if you can't make, don't have time uh, to make your own burrito, there's a, a burrito is a great option too, either frozen or, or um, from scratch. So we're so fortunate to have a great food supply at this point, I think for vegetarians. I personally don't eat much red meat and um, have found there, there are a lot of great choices out there. So once again, try to make sure that you make healthy choices, not so much on the cheese, but more with the, uh, the beans being part of the meal. Well, thank you. I think you've covered most of the, the questions that most of us who are sheltering in place and, and trying to do very limited shopping uh, are thinking about. Do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to share with us? I do, but I do want to tell everybody overall, think about this as part of your whole lifestyle while you're sheltering in place. So that really means it is an issue of self-care. How are you going to take care of yourself? So not just a healthy diet, but also getting enough sleep and then also getting some exercise along with drinking enough water. And so if you do go to the Centers for Disease Control website, this is the kind of thing which we were recommending that everybody to really take care of themselves, not just their diet, but all around. Well, thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of all of us who are gonna benefit from your advice, I wanna thank you for taking the time to help us all make healthy and nutritious food choices. Delighted, thank you.